Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Dipankar and in this particular video, we will see how we can use an integration procedure from the OmniScript, right? In the previous video, we have already seen how we can use the integration procedure as a data source for a flex card, right? And if I come to the OmniScript or and let's say if I come to the flex card and uh, if I come to the setup over here, we can see we have used the data source as integration procedure and the name as the integration procedure name. And let's say if I come and preview it, right? And basically if you see, if I click on this add test parameters, I have given the record ID and this to call from flex card parameter as true. And based on that record ID, I am getting the accounts and all of these contacts, right? So in this particular video, we will see how we can call the integration procedure from the OmniScript. So basically, let's go to the uh, integration procedure and try to preview it. So if I click on execute it, right, I can see the step data over here. And let's say if I want something like call from flex card, right, uh, we are using the same parameter over here in the flex card, right. We are using the same integration procedure from the flex card that is demo underscore transform account con details, right? So we are passing the call from flex card as true, right? And if I pass the flex card as true, you can see you will be able to see the step data pair node will not be present in the response. So let me come here and execute this. You can see the step data node is not present. So so for us, we just need this account ID, right? and execute it we can see this data and we just need this data to be present inside omniscript so let's go and build an omniscript i have come to this tab and to create a new omniscript i can click on new and let's keep the name as demo acc contact details the type should be demo and let's keep the subtype as account contact details and now click on save so here you can see it uh, create a new omniscript for us there is nothing in this omniscript just a step and if i expand this step there is even nothing present so to use an integration procedure inside omniscript we can go to this build tab over here and if i expand this actions if i scroll a little bit down you can see there is an integration procedure action so we have to drag this integration procedure action over here and we have to configure it such a way that we will be able to use our integration procedure action so our integration procedure action if i come to the properties over here the name is demo transform acc con details so let me copy this name and if i come over here and paste over it so we can see the demo transform acc con details is coming right and this integration procedure just needs one parameter that is account id right so let me copy this parameter right so how we can pass this parameter from the omni script so we can uh, expand this remote properties over here right in the extra payload we will pass the node name as account id right and the value if we come to flex card right the value the record id value we are giving in this format record id enclosed inside pair of curly braces but here the merge field syntax is little bit different the merge field syntax is like this and inside the record id value is nothing but context id and you can write it like this context id right and it's always a best practice to send only the extra payload so that you don't overload your integration procedure with a lot of unnecessary input parameters right so that's it uh, this is the simplest way you can use an integration procedure inside omniscript and to preview it we have to give the context id right so let's copy this account id from here and now let's click on preview and let's pass the context id over here So if you see it is still blank, but if you come to the data JSON over here, there is step data and inside step data there is contact details and it is showing you all these things, right? And if you come to action debugger, we can see that the integration procedure has been run. That is the name demo underscore transform acc con details. The request it is taking account ID as the account ID 
and this is the parameter if i show you by clicking edit json in the integration procedure preview it is same as uh, what we are passing from here right and in the response it is giving us all this data right so if we are able to get all this data so let's try to show this data as well right so the first thing uh, let's uh, show this account name right account name then shipping uh, street and maybe shipping country let's try to design it so let's come to this here and here if you see one more thing right so the integration procedure is already designed for an omni step basically this should be the name of step right inside the step if you have some blocks repeatable blocks that should be the name of the repeatable blocks or maybe edit blocks we can use as for our choice right so let me make st the step over here and change the name to step one and the label can be anything i can all make the label is account contact details right now to display the data we have the inputs right or uh, even we have the display uh, text blocks right so let's say we also want the user to change the account name right so let's bring an text over here so we will name it as account name and again the label can be anything but if you are coming from salesforce background let's consider this app, uh, name that we are coming from here right let's say we are getting name so it should be name actually consider it something like api name kind of things right account name and if i uh, add two three more more parameters right so let's come over here and see what else we can add let's add the shipping street over here so we'll name it to shipping street then maybe the postal code right let's try to give the shipping city let's copy it and give the shipping city so let's not uh, populate everything just for our purpose let's try to figure out if we are able to populate this data for now or not let's just click on preview and click on refresh clear the logs you can see the account name and shipping street and shipping city has been populated right so let's try to populate even this contact details as well so to do that there are two ways uh, either we can choose edit block or we can choose a simple block let's go with simple block i have already prepared a dedicated video for edit block in my channel you can go and watch that as well so there will be something called groups and inside groups you can see both edit block and block let's drag a block over here right and let's try to name the block as what we are getting from the iv as contact details right so let's name it to contact details and level change to contact type and details and since we have multiple contacts let's make it enable repeat right and again uh, let's come over here let's figure out also what are the fields that we want to give let's uh, see uh, let's see if we are going to give phone first name last name and contact name so let me give the first name right come over here go to builds drag a text block over here text input name it to first name right and again change the other one to last name and let's try to give the email and email and also let's try to give the phone 
then let's do one more thing let's give try to give the contact id here as well right so bring another one let's try to make it as contact id but the cache is here we don't want to display the contact id to user right so to hide it what we can do we can click on this edit properties at json and we can search for the node that is called hide and we can make it true right let's close the json editor and let's try for phone as well right phone and let's make it phone all right so basically this is it and even we can also drag and uh, change the size for it here as well so let's make this into two columns right and similarly can we get the account id over here let's try that as well so let's come over here let's see and let's give the account id over here and let's try to display this account id for this time then we'll come and hide this field over here you can see this hide property let's not hide this time let's try to see if we are able to show this contact details that we are able to show in in the flex card right so i am clicking on preview flex card and let's click on preview for the omni script so we have passed the context id over here okay so we are not getting the account id we are not getting the name but we are getting the contact details repeated over here right and all these things inside input so let's do one thing let's get the account id and account name and try to fix uh and we can also see if we are getting the contact id over here or not so we can see we are getting the contact id here over as well so let's go to design and see what we are missing over here so basically account id if you see for the contact there is account id and for the account there is only id so that's the reason it is not getting populated so let's make it as id and the second thing we are not able to get the name right so the name was actually text one but it should be name right you can see it was name over here right and now let's try to show this contact id here as well then we can dis, uh, hide it So let's click on preview again. You can see we are able to populate this account ID, name, street, and city over here, and also the contact ID here as well, right? Since we are already able to pre-populate the data, right? Even before uh, you interacting with the Omni script, right? So let's do one thing. Let's do not pre-populate the data and use this integration procedure as a button inside the step, right? And what will happen once you click on this integration procedure the data should be pre-populated right so let's try to do this so let's change the field level to get data right and let's do one thing let's change the name uh, drag and make it a smaller and let's try to make it on the right side so i'll bring a text block right and i'll drag and drop so now you can see the get data is on the right side so basically what will happen uh, now the elements account id name city these things will not be pre-populated but instead what will happen once you click on this get data these things will be populated and one more thing now let's uh, come to this uh, account id since we are already see that uh, this data is getting populated now let's try to hide this from the user interface right so to hide them we have to make this as true and same for the contact id welcome and we have to search for the hide right and again we have to make this true so now let's try to preview it right and once you can see there is no data over here but once we click on get data i should be able to see all the account and the contact details so i am clicking on this get data it took some time 
but after that you can see the name street and city populated and all the contacts got populated here as well right you can see there are 10 contacts and the account so that's it for this video in this video we have see we can how we can use the integration procedure from omniscript uh, to prefill the data and also how we can use integration procedure as a button from the omniscript right so that's it for this video and thank you for watching